Hey, and welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we check out Bari, the port town mm -hmm. Bari. Uh, we go to a cave and we look at some stone houses. Mm hmm. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, it's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow, I want to settle down Until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on So Bari is where we landed the bikes when we came from Greece and we, uh, we had two nights there I think, a couple of nights. So Bari's a port town and according to Wikipedia is the second largest economic driver of the southern part of Italy uh, mm -hmm. next to Naples. It actually has a really neat old town. Yeah, we enjoyed the old town. Yes. Carrie likes to get us our stays in the old town. Now every old okay. town presents a different problem. Um, they're either on the top of a mountain with mm -hmm. really steep roads and slippery in corners or no parking or something. But this one had something called a ZLT and I never seen it so I just drove up and went around the corner where we had to go and, and went in and then read later that the ZLT is the Zona Traffic uh, limited or something <laughs> anyway. It's limited access areas and, and Italy has quite a few of these. It doesn't mean you can't go in, it just means generally you need permission to go mm -hmm. in, which means you have to contact your host and they'll put your name on a registry so when the coppers come along, yeah. you're okay to be in there. Well, I did none of that. Well, the Airbnb guy said we could and then the lady that checked us in said we couldn't, so, so we didn't I did. really know. Now, the time of this filming is two years after the fact yeah. and I still haven't got a ticket, so I'm yeah. Hoping I'm good. Yeah, I think we were good. We covered him up. <laughs> yeah, we put we parked Pepe, put a bag over his head, and left him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Bari had. We were back into some good food. I mean, mm -hmm. back into you know. Yeah. Those meat dishes, the what they call mm -hmm. charcuterie boards. Oh. And the charcuterie boards. Charcuterie yeah. boards and yeah. the cheese dishes. Yeah, and yeah. Stuff they, like yeah. that. So that was good. Yeah, neat old. Well, I think there was a St. Nicholas Church right close to us, like like the Santa Claus Church, this is where mm. St. Nicholas uh, is interned. So that was kind of cool. We went, you don't remember that? St. Nicholas is interned? How's he going to deliver the oh, presents? Oh, sorry. Sorry, That's kids. This is where St. Nicholas... Supposedly. Like <laughs> yeah. well, kids are all going to be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think one of the neatest things in Bari was these ladies had these tables all set up oh, yeah. and they were rolling pasta so mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you what kinds of pasta but they would cut the little pieces and they'd make the little shapes and so these ladies worked at that yeah. they were there all bloody day it was day. a specialty I think in Puglia it was like the specialty yeah. So one group of women would run, go off to the house and mix up the, the dough or yeah, the pasta, yeah. I guess. And then they'd come out and the other lady would sit yeah, there. They'd be making it and mm, yeah, have it be, all for sale. It was all, I mean, yeah. could you ask for any fresher? Yeah, so we picked some up for our evening meal. The Mike food. and Shelly had a really cool, their Airbnb. I mean, not that ours wasn't cool, yeah. but theirs was ultra cool. Because remember it had the domed roof? Well, ours was domed too. Jesus, you'll I see must, it. You'll see it. I must have been on a different holiday. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, theirs theirs was a little fancier. Than yeah, ours, I think ours was a last, a little more of a last minute booking. But well, again, we were on their coattails. Yeah, so. but but it, it was it, it was a neat little little Airbnbs that we got. Yeah. In that.
two nights there, then we packed up and Shelly um, Shelley had arranged a couple of stops on the way to Matera, which is where we're going to end the day at. But the first stop was the Grotto di Castellana. Castellana. I can't remember. Yeah, you anyway. Can, you can put the name up. I did. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, so this grotto is part of this karst cave systems. So karst is a limestone. Uh, everything's made of this limestone. And it's all very porous and has caves and all over it. This whole region is like that. Mm-hmm. And so... We went to this cave and... Yeah, we could only film the entrance part. So as we got into the cave, I think it was really white inside. If I remember. Well, they had different sections yeah. so you could walk through. So the, the, the part that we could film was called the grave, I think. And then you would go through and there's different sections you go through mm-hmm. and you end at the white cave. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, of course, stalactites, stalagmites yeah. and all the normal cave kind of things. But yeah, it was really neat. Yeah. They have these truly houses, which are all white with this kind of slated roof on them. Yeah, so they're they're made from this karst material, and they were back in the day, the 14th century. These this area is dated from. They were all dry stacks, so no mortar. Yeah, and the reason was because the old the, Italians were cheaper yeah, than me. <laughs> yeah, these people in the area didn't want to pay taxes to the taxman when he came around. If they had a house, they would have to pay taxes. So they, when they got wind of he was coming, they would actually take their houses apart and haul them away, and there'd be nothing there when he came. And then once he left, they'd bring them all back, stack them back up, and live in their house until Good, a, the next like year. Sounds like a hell of a lot of work. <laughs> it would be a lot of work. Yeah. But... Um, at some point, they're now a permanent fixture there, and they're all painted white with these slate well, roofs, and it was really, really cute. Well, that's where the, the yeah. old cranky parking attendant was. Oh yeah, welcome I, to Italy. I yeah. rolled in and. I didn't know where I was going. I don't speak Italy. Yeah, I don't speak Italy. I can't even, <laughs> I don't even speak Italian. And uh, he was hollering at me in Italian, and I just smiled and grinned at him. I had no idea what he was saying. Yeah. The just was, get the hell out. Yeah, we're full, I guess. <laughs> yeah, full. Yeah. So, so we did find a parking spot, but it was kind of precarious. Oh, it was on a big slope. She had been behind man. a tree. Oh yeah, we got motorcycle parking. They say. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, scooter parking, I yeah. think, is a bit better. But anyways, we found yeah. some parking and... It was parking. Checked it out for yeah. probably an hour or two. Yeah. Found a little place to have a snack. And... Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that was a cool place. And then we packed up and continued, continued on and we get to Matera, which is yeah. what we cover in the next episode. That's right. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if you like our content or, or uh, leave us a comment, Good or bad, I guess. And uh, like and subscribe is always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next episode. We'll see you then. Okay, we won't put that in. No, we won't put in St. Nicholas's (laughs) internment.